Hello and welcome back. In this series of videos, I'm going to give an introduction on how to create a digital circuits, combinational logic circuits, at the transistor level using NMOS and PMOS transistors in a complementary fashion, and that's what we call CMOS technology. So let's start with the inverter. So a circuit that is going to invert a signal. If this is A, provides the complement of A. If we think about how the MMOS works, we can see that if we provided an A here, right, a high voltage level, this circuit is going to conduct the transistor is going to turn on because the gate source voltage is high enough. So it turns on. And so we're going to have something that looks like this. Our output is going to connect to ground through, I'm going to call this the R on, a small resistance. Similarly, if we put here a PMOS at the top, this transistor is going to conduct. This is BDD at low voltages. And so what we have there is that in the first scenario, this is open for an A value that is low, BDD, and therefore this is going to give us a zero, a low voltage. And for a high value, so I'm going to say for A equals 1, that's what we get. That means that the gate is at a high voltage, approximately equal to BDD. And for A equals 0, meaning the gate is approximately equal to 0, what we have is that this, the PMOS, is conducting, is on, So we have a pull-up network, and we have the MMOS in cutoff. Yeah. So this is complementary. Let, let's re review this circuit again, quickly. If this is Y, if A is high, this transistor is on, and this is off for A equals logic one, or about its level, BDD, close to BDD. And so there is a path to ground, and you get zero volts. However, if A is zero, or approximately equal to zero, now this transistor is off, is in cutoff, and this other one is on, we're in this situation. And so, open, off, and we get the logic one. So we have just realized an inverter. Let's continue. In the next video, we are going to start creating NAND gates, NOR gates, and an arbitrary logic function at the transistor level. In general, though, remember, looking at this video, we are going to have a pull down network, meaning a network of transistor, that when you have A, B, C logical levels high, your output is going to be pulled down to zero. This network is a pull down network. Pull down network. Okay, ties the output to ground, and in a complementary fashion, a pull-up network. Again, when we have our inputs, it connects the output to BDD, as we have here. So, let's start with another example. So let's do 